you. What is going on guys, my name is David and welcome to a brand new LEGO Ninjago video. Now before I get started with today's video, I just want to thank each and every single one of my subscribers. I really, really, really do wish that I could meet each and every single one of you guys in person because you guys are just amazing. I really do not know what I would do without you guys because you are such an amazing community and I really do love you guys and I really appreciate the support and basically you guys have supported me and made my dream a reality so I really do thank you guys so much and thank you all for getting me to 9,000 subscribers I really 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 appreciate it and hopefully within the next couple months we'll reach 10,000 but without further ado guys let's get on to today's theory now yesterday I was talking about the script that was revealed for Lego Ninjago season 6 since yesterday was of course International Ninja Day and so that's obviously a great celebration for all of us Ninjago fans because that's when we start getting leaks about the new season that's going to be coming out in 2016. Like last year when we got the leaks for the um the game, they updated the website right on lego.com and stuff like that and so they had like a celebration and all that stuff. So that was really really cool and I really like that and this time they actually gave us something a bit more special in my opinion. They gave us, you know, the script to the first page of the script uh, for the Lego Ninjago Season 6 Skybound. And so in this script they basically talked about how Samukai would be returning in Season 6. But the question is whether Samukai is actually Samukai in that, they, like, is he just how should I say? Is he fake? Like, is he a simulation? Is Samukai a simulation of Cyrus Borg's training? Because remember, back in, tor in uh, the Tournament of Elements, an episode, I believe it was like 35, right? Um, uh, they began the episode with like showing off, you know, all these like aerial views and stuff like that. And then they got Lloyd fighting all these ninjroids, right? And so we all thought, well, yeah, the ninjroids are coming back. You're like, you know, hype, hype, hype. And then um, later we found out that it was all a training simulation. And what really caught my eye is that there is no dialogue to be said in the script. I believe there is no dialogue in the script. I haven't read it since yesterday, so it's not really fresh in my mind. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, in the comment section down below, but I believe that there is like no dialogue actually spoken in the script. It's just fighting action, right? And so that's what you would really expect in an intro that would be a simulation because if it's actually like a real fight scene, typically in the Lego Ninjago series, you would have the ninja talking with each other, making all these like, you know, puns and stuff like that. Like, hey, you just got like rocked or like ha, shocked or whatever, stuff like that. But now um, they don't really do that in the script and they're just basically fighting and stuff like that. So that's kind of leading me to think that this is a training simulation uh, or something like that. But this also may be some kind of dream because keep in mind, guys, uh, back in, I believe, season one, um, Zane actually had a dream, episode four, Never Trust a Snake, um, about, you know, Garmadon and about meeting the, uh, the Green Ninja, right? And we didn't know who the Green Ninja was. We never saw him before until that point. And uh, he was, like, fighting Garmadon and all that stuff. And so it was like a fake scene, right? They were fighting on the Destiny's Bounty that never happened in the TV show. And it only happened in uh, Zane's dream. So it might be one of the two. It might be a training exercise or it might be a actual dream but I personally I'm just hoping I'm holding on to that last silver strand and I'm just hoping that Samukai is actually real because he is one of my all-time favorite Ninjago villains I mean he was the first one that we've actually been introduced to um, if you watched Ninjago since the start and he is just so awesome I love that guy so much not as much as Pythor though I still think that Pythor comes in you know like a close top one, and then the Overlord, and then Samukai. But, I mean, I just love this guy a lot, and hopefully he is um, returning in Season 6. So tell me guys what you think down in the comments section below. I'll catch you guys next time in my next LEGO Ninjago video. So thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in my next LEGO Ninjago video. I just said that two times. I just did not realize that. Later. <laughs>